Over the past couple of years, we've heard everybody from MSNBC uh, analysts to actual school board officials make the claim, we're not teaching CRT. We're not teaching the new sex edge ed to kids, which really kind of seems ridiculous because we can see the crap that they're teaching with our own eyes. So how are they getting away with the denials? Let's go back again to the CDC, the whole school, whole community, whole child program. This is the overall goal. And it's to impart, uh, uh, direct every aspect of a kid's life. Every aspect. So when we go to school and we say, you're teaching CRT, that's ridiculous. No, we're not. You're teaching CSE, the new sex program. No, 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 mm -mm. Because these all follow and fall under SEL, okay? The bottom um, that we've been hearing about for the last year or so, CRT, Comprehensive Sexual Education, uh, remember, as per ACE, or Childhood Adverse Experiences, every kid can be grouped and categorized for, you know, for something. Racism, oppression, gender, whatever they need. So these are all just trying to help the kids because we have the CDC who found the problems through ACE. They have the whole school, whole community, whole child. So they're bringing it all home. See, the master brainwashing technique? Is that? Well, it's at the top of the triangle. Let me go back to what I showed you happening right now in Austin, Texas, the independent school district. What is it? Oh, wow, look at that. In Austin ISD, we believe that social emotional learning is at the heart of equity centered systems and structures. Oh, well, that's great. See, SEL ties it all together. And, and that's the driver of the whole school, whole community, whole child thing. And they admit it in their own curriculum publications. CRT and uh, CSE are just parts of the pie. So when we're fighting one, they're getting away with everything else. The social-emotional learning is how... <coughs> Excuse me, how they're getting it all done. We've been fighting an incomplete partial battle, focusing just on CRT or sex ed. This is how they get away with saying, we're not teaching all, but it's a con, it's a big lie. SEL is the driver for all of this. This is from the Collaborative uh, for Academic Social and Emotional Learning, an outside group of activists that started in New Haven, Connecticut. It reveals a curriculum plan to teach what Florida just banned, comprehensive sexuality education, with a collaboration between them and Planned Parenthood. Now, this one here is for sixth graders. I'm not going to show you the kinds of things that they are opening our kids up to again. I showed you the pictures earlier, and it is equally disgusting. You see, this is more than just CSE. Again, it goes all the way back to the top. Through an outside leftist activist like Castle, then Planned Parenthood, and then to the Center for the Disease Control. We're not fighting a minor battle here. This is a war. While we've been fighting CSE in a vacuum, SEL has been charging ahead under the radar. Here's the video, the SEL topic of the day. Watch this for this poor classroom. Watch. Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's SEL topic. Today, we're going to give a brief rundown on the topic of gender and sexuality. My name is Stefan Oliveira, my pronouns are he, him, and I'm a Miracosa graduate from the class of 2020. To start, let's break down what gender and sexuality are. So let's discuss a little bit further on that first one, gender. Gender is made up of a few components. No, it's not made up of a few components. I'm gonna spare you from the rest of this, but it's maddening. 
But this is being taught in our schools all over the country right now, all under the guise of social emotional learning. SEL is designed to be taught in every single school topic in every aspect of our children's lives. Oh, we're not teaching um, CRT. That's ridiculous. Oh, no. SEL is meant to penetrate everything. And I mean it. What would the world look like, um, you know, in math? Well, let me show you. From the Seattle Public Schools, through SEL, math is taught not through numbers, but from the lens of four components. Origins, identity, and agency. Power and oppression. History of resistance and liberation. And reflection and action. Does that sound like math at all? Or does that sound like CRT? But if CRT doesn't exist, I mean, they can't be teaching this. And they're not. They're teaching math.